calling, you get the attention of God, then he will ask you a specific question. What do you want? By the time you are calling, 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 when God pay attention to you and ask you a specific question, do you know exactly what you want? What do you want? Know what you want. As you are calling, 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 and the attention is drawn to you already, when the question is asked to you, what do you want? Do you know exactly what you want? Or you are just making noise? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel how are you all doing i hope you're keeping well and staying safe yes guys i hope you're staying safe today i'm back with you guys again with another reading with me like i tell you guys i love reading the bible and sharing the gospel with you guys so guys if you're new to my channel if you are new to my channel welcome 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 on board hope you're well and keeping safe yes first of all First thing first, hope you're well and keeping safe. And if this is your first time seeing this beautiful face, like I always say, God bless you. And it's not by mistake that you bump into this channel. Definitely, God directed you to see this channel for a purpose, to see this video, this particular video today for a purpose. So guys, without further ado, let's go into the scripture and share with you guys today. Let's share the scripture. Let's share a scripture and let's go into it and see what God has to say to all of us today. Let's see what God has to say to us today. Like I always say to you guys, as I'm reading the Bible, I'm not only talking to you guys, I'm talking to myself back too. I always go back to watch my videos to see what is there that I need to reflect back to my own life as well. So, Without further ado, we're going to the book of Matthew today. Matthew 20 verse 29 to 34. That's the scripture we're reading today. And he's talking about this man that was shouting, Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. When I was reading this scripture, I kept thinking back. There are so many times in your life that people will just want to shut you up. Don't shut up. If the short and the straight to the point of this video will be is that when people try to shut you up, don't shut up. Keep calling until you get the attention you need when you're in, the, in time of need. When you are facing a challenge, when you need help from people, when you need help from God, so many people will try to tell you to shut up, keep your mouth shut. But I'm here to tell you today, don't keep your mouth shut. Like, they, like some ministers will always say, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Don't shut your mouth. Open your mouth. Shout from the rooftop until someone hears you and help you. Because if you keep quiet, nobody is a witch. Nobody is a winch. Nobody is the Holy Spirit that can know what is going through, what you need, or what you really need, what, you, what help they can offer you. It's only when you say it out, that's when somebody can help you. If you keep your mouth shut, yes, God can have mercy on you and open the spirit of people around you or minister to people that are sensitive to the Holy Spirit to come to your help. But before that happens, it will take the grace of God. So if you are that kind of person that you are in trouble and you don't know how to open your mouth and talk, I'm here to tell you to open your mouth and talk just like what this man did. Even when people were telling him to keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet. He refused to keep quiet. He kept calling, Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. Even if you don't want to go to men or human beings around you to ask them to help you, don't keep quiet in the place of prayer. Keep calling on God. If you feel that you don't have anybody reliable around you, if you feel that the people around you are no good or you don't want your, your issue to become the stock of the town, but what happened in you calling on God in the place of prayer? Because when you pray and ask God to raise the helpers of destiny for you, that's when he will come around to help you. That's when you send the right people to your way to help you. So my main thing with this scripture today as we're going to read the bible you're going to see for yourself see i've started talking again 
you're going to see for yourself let's just read the bible and you see for yourself don't be silent don't keep quiet pray talk ask until something happen keep calling until something change don't keep quiet that's what i'm coming to sell you today don't keep quiet if you are in need ask for help when you are in need ask for help don't sit down and think that manna is going to fall from heaven those days that manna fall from heaven is way gone already now manna don't fall from heaven you have to stand up walk ask before it comes to you even the bible said ask and it shall be given to you if the bible said that you should keep quiet and you receive he will not say it he said ask it shall be given to you knock and the door will be opened unto you seek and you will find so definitely there you there is a point where you need to act there's a point that you need to open your mouth and ask before things will change let's read the bible matthew 20 matthew 20 verse 29 it says as they went out of jericho a great crowd followed him he's talking about jesus christ here i didn't want to go to the beginning to start reading he's talking about jesus christ here a great crowd followed him and behold two blind men sitting by the roadside two it is two but as the story goes on it's only one that was shouting and asking there were two take note two of them sitting at the roadside two blind men sitting by the roadside when they heard that jesus was passing by passing by cried out have mercy on us sorry guys so it's the two of them that was crying and shouting have mercy on us they didn't keep quiet the two of them were crying have mercy on us whether it was one person that was crying out or both of them but all we know that was somebody was calling and shouting have mercy on us son of david the crowd rebuked them telling them to be silent so definitely it was the two of them that was shouting and asking that's what i was telling you guys in the beginning there's always somebody that will be there to tell you to shut up don't open your mouth to talk shut up shut up somebody will be there telling you to shut up don't open your mouth to talk but they they rebuked them to keep quiet but what did they say they didn't listen they kept calling be silent but they cried out the more the more they tell them to keep quiet the more they cried out the more it's the devil telling you to keep quiet that you have prayed enough and there's nothing changing is the devil trying to play tricks on you to tell you that you have called you have prayed you have asked and nothing is coming and he's telling you to keep quiet no i am here to tell you today no don't keep quiet keep calling keep calling until something happen keep calling until you draw the attention of the heavens until you draw the attention of your father to you see they cry out the more the more they tell them to keep quiet the more they shout the lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us son of david and jesus stop and call them if they keep quiet immediately when the people were telling them to keep quiet keep quiet will jesus hear them and tell and stop and call them no maybe at the point that you are shouting 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 maybe your your voice is almost getting to god then the enemy will come and give play tips on you to tell you that oh you, your own is too much keep quiet don't keep quiet keep calling that's what i do i don't keep quiet though i will keep calling until something happens until the story is changed i will not be silent there's this video i'll put the this cuts on it i will not be silent as long as i am breathing i will keep worshiping you i will keep calling on you until something happens as long as i am breathing i will keep calling on you jesus stopped and called them saying what do you want me to what do you want me to do for you is the question as you keep calling you break the attention of god then he will ask you a specific question what do you want 
by the time you are calling 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 when god pay attention to you and ask you a specific question do you know exactly what you want what do you want know what you want as you're calling 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 and the attention is drawn to you already when the question is asked to you what do you want do you know exactly what you want or you're just making noise let's keep going what do you want to do for you they said to the lord let us let our eyes be open simple no story no story let our eyes be open no story giving him the scenario of how they became blind how people were telling them to shut up no immediately jesus turned to them and the attention of god was with them and he asked them what do you want me to do for you straight away they told him open our eyes no story no story straight to the point open our eyes when the attention of god is on you do you know exactly what to say at that point or is that when you go and stand to to to, to arranging your prayers or is that when you start thinking oh you start talking about your wants not your need at that point when the attention of jesus christ was on them they went straight to the point to tell him that open our eyes and jesus spit spat touch their eyes and immediately they received their sight and followed him no story open my eyes so he spat on the floor made the mud or whatever he did and put on their eyes and their eyes followed open and they followed him straight to the point what do you want you want to see open your eyes he you open your eyes and go no long story how do you tender your case before God? Do you come around and you beat around the bush, beat around the bush, beat around the bush without telling him exactly what you want? Do you just come and run, 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 run? The attention of God is on you now. You are going around in circle, not telling him exactly what you need. Before you go to talk to God, even if when you want to go and talk to the prime minister or you want to go to people of noble noble car people of esteem people of esteem imagine when you want to go to the, the team to pay for something will you go there and be confused and be saying 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 say? no you go straight to the point this is what i bought i'm paying for it i'm going out when you go to the till you just pay and go you don't go around and be going around and cycle so the same way when you start praying make your prayer straight forward come with what you need come and tell god exactly what you need don't come and be mourning don't come and be whining and when people are telling you to shut up don't shut up ask god and exactly when his attention is on you know the right word to say know the right word to say i hope this video was helpful as i said don't be silent open your mouth and talk and let the king of glory come and take away and change anything that is happening around you stay blessed do let me know in the comment section what how has people tried to shut you down what are your struggles what are you what cases have you found let me know in the comment section below i will rub mine together down there thank you for watching stay blessed like i always say i love you but jesus love you more stay blessed wrap up in this winter season and build up your immune system Thank you. Thank you for listening to me today. Bye. I'll see you soon.